Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be covering some Tales of Tenorio stuff. What? Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you can train your Tenorians to be stronger than just leveling them up. You know, there are actually some hidden values in the game uh, called unique and effort values that a lot of people might not understand how exactly they work. So I'm here to kind of break it down and explain what they do and how they can affect your in-game experience and like just generally summarize what you're supposed to do. And I will also talk about where you can increase these stats the, the easiest. And, but first, before I get into any of that, um, I would like to say that in the description, there are going to be some timestamps. If you already understand how EVs and um, IVs, or in this game, unique points and effort points work, then you can go ahead and skip to the trainers. I put them in the description. And there's a good chance that by the time you see this video, if it's like a month or something old, this video is going to be outdated because there could be some updates. But hey, this is just for those people that want to be like, hey, I want to make a PvP. So I'm going to get prepared early, you know, for those, for those early, early people. But yeah, with all that being said, let's get into to talking about how they work. So if we go ahead and look at my starter here, we are going to see there's four tabs. We have base, stats, unique, and effort. Base stats just show me what um, stats I have. It's very easy to understand. They're just my base stats. So we have 91 health, 65 attack, 75 defense, 105 range attack, 85 range defense, and 109 speed. So generally, it looks like our role is supposed to be a fast um, attacking mod. And then with our stats here, this just shows us our stats after all of our modifiers. So we don't really care about this right now. This just shows their current stuff. And now the unique and efforts, what I wanted to touch on. Now the unique stats are stats that are unique to every Tenorian that you capture. Uh, maybe if we get breeding at some point, there will be exclusive to breeding. But basically, the higher the number is, the more stats you're going to receive from that said um, stat value. Now, since we have four on our health, we're not going to get that much health out of it. 30 attack, we're going to get a lot of attack out of it. And then 15 defense, we're going to get a mediocre amount of defense. 30 range attack, we're going to get a, a good amount of range attack. 30 range defense, we're going to get a crazy amount of range defense. And zero speed, We're since speed actually is bugged right now, you can't increase this at all. So we're always going to be very, very slow, which really sucks. But I don't exactly know the maximum value of uh, the stats here. I think it is probably just mm, 30, but we'll see. Now going into effort... Now, you might be wondering, what's the difference between unique and effort? Well, unique stats, they can't be changed at all. Not as of right now. But effort stats, you have a lot of leeway with them. Now, what happens? You gain an effort stat every time you you knock out a Tenorian. It will give you a point in one of these slots. And I'm pretty sure that as of recording this, um, the maximum stat value gets up to 500. So once you have 500 stats, you can't get any more effort points. And the maximum that you can put into one effort point slot is 200, similar to LL's uh, 200, 200, 100. Uh, basically, you can put 200 into two stats and then 100 into one stat. But yeah, every time, the more you increase this, the more damage or like the more your base stat or your stats are going to increase, basically. That's kind of how this works. Should be pretty self-explanatory. And again, we can't really increase speed. It doesn't really work like that because it's bugged right now. But yeah, that is pretty much how they work. Um, unique stats, I don't know if they ever get a way to increase them. Effort values, I know in the future we're going to get resets and stuff, so don't stress if your starter sucks right now. But yeah, anyway, we can hop straight into where you can get these effort, effort points and the best way to get them. Now, if you are looking to increase your health stat to make yourself a little bit bulkier, you're going to want to go ahead and teleport, not the Tanapedia, you're going to teleport to Route 5 down here at the middle right part of the map. And then we're going to go ahead and go through the Kaigen Canyon door. It should just be exactly when you teleport out. And then to our left, there should be a vine, which you can only go up this vine once you have beaten the second battle stadium. So we're going to go ahead and go up. We're we'll going on top of this vine. We're going to go ahead and walk all the way over here. And then we're going to fight this trainer. Now, this trainer has a four Drake, which is a dragon and steel type, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to just fight this the best thing would be to get a fighting move which can just do a lot of damage and one shot it 
and it will give you two in your health stat. So to max out your health stat, you're going to fight this guy 100 times. I know it's a lot, but time could fly pretty quickly, right? But yeah, that's where you get some health is to fight this guy here. Now, the next place you want to go is Kaigen Cliffs. And you're going to go ahead and go around this one trainer. And then you're just going to want to go down this bridge. This is where you get your attack stat. And then you're going to go straight over here. And you're going to fight this guy. Now, this guy actually has two Tenorians. He has a Snow Kit. And then he has another Tenorian, which I kind of forget the name of. It's like a big rock guy. Snow Kit does not actually give any effort values right now as I'm making this video. But the giant rock scary guy he does give you two attacks so if you want to max out your attack you can fight this guy 100 times and he's actually also a really good source of xp so if you're training a melee attacker they're going to get up to a high level very very quickly but yeah that's where you get your attack stat and now for de for some defensive training you're going to go come to kaigen cliffs and then you're going to fight this trainer right here which actually doubles as the xp trainer of the game it's going to have its own segment because like don't really want to confuse people but whenever you fight this lady she will have a gemma star and it will give you three defense uh, effort points which hey cuts down the training time by like, quite a lot so if you want to get some nice defensive training fight this trainer here should be very very nice for you and should also level you up pretty well as well now for this next one we're going to be doing ranged attack which you can actually find at fable falls but we're not going into Fable Falls. Where we're going is going back to the door to Pontero Pasture. Now this is just the faster way to get here rather than just teleporting to Pontero Pasture itself. And we're gonna turn to our left here. There's going to be a cow, cow man, a cowboy. I don't really know. But this guy is going to fight a Psycaf. Now what sucks is that this one only gives you one range attack effort point. But I looked for a very long time I couldn't find anything better than this guy. He's most consistent. And he actually goes by pretty quickly. Um, so you don't have to be too stressed about taking a while. Just make sure you have like something going on in the background. And whenever they add the fast um, battle mode, which is like takes like two to three seconds for an encounter, you should get this done very, very quickly. And if there is any better method, uh, everyone please comment it um, down below if you know a better method to the range attack. And I'll go ahead and pin your comment. But yeah. That is range attack. All right, and for the range defense, you want to come to Kaigen Cliffs, and then you're going to want to look in the grass, and you're going to look for an Eye Aspire. An Eye Aspire will give you two in your ranged defense um, EVs. But there could be a better way to do this, but the fact that Eye Aspire gives two, and you can find it in the wild, is a really easy way. You can just be training in other stats, and then come here and look around, and be like, oh, there's an Eye Aspire. Let me go ahead and grab it. Yeah, Eye Aspire will give you two in your ranged defense stats, so if you want to train your ranged, look for an Eye Aspire, and it's pretty easy. Plus, they can be found in hordes, so it's very helpful for the ranged defense. Now, for the XP trainer, we're going to come to Kaigen Cliffs, and we're actually going to fight this lady, which she actually doubles as the defense stat trainer of the game, giving you three defense every time you beat her, but she's also incredibly good for XP training. So if you're looking to just get some levels instead of really caring about the effort stuff, just go ahead and fight this lady. She is just very nice for XP and gives you about 1,120 something XP per fight. So gets you levels very, very quickly. And now we're here to talk about the speed stat. Now, actually currently with the, the current state of the game, as I've uploaded this video, the speed stat is unable to actually be modified in any specific way. So look, you can see that I have zero in my unique, zero in my effort. There's absolutely no possible way that I could increase my speed stat or change it at all. So you never have to actually worry about that right now. But in the future, there's going to be definitely, there's definitely going to be ways you can change and affect the speed stat to make yourself a little bit quicker. And just in general, um, will be nice to be able to modify your speed stat. But right now you just can't. And with that, that'll be ending off this video. Hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It is very helpful. And overall, I think that the training currently in the game is a little tedious and I don't myself plan on doing it at all. This is just a quick video to tell people like how this works and where you can train if you really do want to train, but it's not worth it right now. I'd wait till we have more quality of life stuff because I think we've there have been stuff that has been talked about. It's like, yeah, this will probably be happening. But yeah, hopefully that you all enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye!